on this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. In an elevator, in a line at a, at a place. But after we talking, blah, 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 if you're not like, you know, I don't know. If you're not doing something to to continue it on, it would it would I would assume that that he's not interested, he's married, or he got a girlfriend. Because yeah. if we talking, we had good vibes. This is happening to me in the line at the chase, waiting for the waiting to go to the to, to, to up to the teller. Good conversation in this long ass line. At the end, it's like, oh, here's my so car. He gave me what is car. it? Does what does it hurt if, you? If, if you're just like, okay, bye, have a good day. You walk off. You you make no effort to stay in contact with me. Then but what if that guy would have been married? Been or you okay. got a girlfriend. No, <laughs> or maybe he was just really, really in what it is that he was trying to take care of. And what if, what if? But that he was guy, making time wait, to talk wait, to me wait, in wait, this line. Listen, I'm gonna just be real with you. Regular ass everyday girls get chose because they make themselves available and they shoot their shot. Well, what do you, what do you, wait, 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 wait. What do you, what do you deem that. as rejection? Because it's levels, right? For example, a guy could, reject sex and say yo that just ain't that meaningful like i ain't even tripping off that it ain't even that deep right he could uh, reject the past that you make at him he could reject um you know a lot of different aspects of rejection could come about in a conversation so what are you defining as rejection when you're saying you're not rocking with a guy after he rejects you I mean, it could be a number of those. If I'm making a pass at a guy and I'm sending shoes and signals for a good deal of time and he ain't picking them up, he ain't paying me no mind, I'm I'm moving on. I'm not like, ooh, let me, he's more attractive to me. Let me do more. Like, no, no. So you don't think that a guy that ain't tripping off of the small stuff is more. Well, it could be anything, not just the small stuff. But I was just using that example because that's what you said in terms of like make a pass at your cho choosing signals. Or but I'm saying, are you not rocking with him because of your ego? What is it? Why are you saying no now? I think that um, I think it's important for a man to pursue you. So if you're in a space where that's not happening or you're pursuing him and he rejects you, it's just not a good precedence to me in terms of like the dynamics that I prefer in a relationship. So I, I don't, I don't, it's not attractive to me. If a guy rejects me, that doesn't make him attracted to me. I'm attracted to people who are attracted to me. Hmm. Like you should like the men that like you as a woman, you shouldn't be out there looking for the men. You should, you should pick in the pool of the men that like you, that's putting in effort for you, that's courting you. That's your pool, not just men out here that not paying you no motherfucking attention. Why would you waste your energy like that? You Because you, the women that shoot they shot, often at times are the ones that's the winners. The women that shoot they shot are often the ones that get married. Is not that plan hard to get, and, and especially for men that are more valuable, because let's be clear. It's a reason why it's a ton of women hanging outside of the hotel room of a lot of these basketball players that ain't even checking for them. They hoping to get chose. Now, that's an extreme example. But my yeah. point is, is that women that say, yo, I like you or they shoot, they shot or they or they moving in that direction, you know, that that guy want to be in or they making themselves available, even if he don't notice her yet are the ones that win and they the ones that get chose. And so if you waiting for a guy. But those are different, Anton. Making yourself available for someone to pursue you and you at pursuing them, those are two different things. Even you if he's not noticing available. you. You can put yet. yourself in their space, in their vicinity for them to see you. You can give them the choosing signals. You could, But if you're the one that goes up to them like, hey, can I get your number? I mean, that's just not my, my personal style. I get it if you're saying that those women are winning, but... I don't know. I feel like a man should pursue you and then you give them, you open up and like, yeah, like, and then you, you go, you, you, you go from there. That's just my opinion. A guy. Okay. The guy that you want probably is not checking for you. Right. Because women date up and men date down. The guy that the guys that are the most valuable are the ones that women want, but may not necessarily be checking for them because they have a lot of options. Right. They got, they busy. They not even checking for that in the first place and relationships for them may, be, may just be a convenience at that time because they more focus on the thing that's meaningful to them, which may, may be their business. It may be their money. It may be a lot of other things, but they may just not be checking for you. It does not make you any less attractive to, the, to them, 
but they just might not be checking for you because you're not meaningful to them. Right. And so that's what I'm saying is that I think it's a disconnect in that women interpret a guy not chasing them is that they may not like them or they're not attracted to them. It's just that you're not that meaningful to them at that time because they got other things going on in their life. So if they're not that, if we're not that meaningful to them, then why would I find them more attractive? <laughs> well, you naturally find men more attractive because you are a hypergamous and you want the best available option. So let me ask you a question, Tam. Would you rather? Yeah, if they're not, if they're not, not pursuing you, question. they're not an option. Let me ask him a question. <laughs> let, me, let me ask Tam a question. Would you rather ha have the most valuable man that you can get that is busy and may not necessarily be checking for you? Or the lower value guy that is checking for you and that that is showing you attention, but you just not on that other guy's radar. Which one would you prefer to be with? First, I would be trying to figure out how I can get on his no, radar. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to answer the question and then you got to get a context. Which I, guy do you prefer to be with? Obviously, we're going to shoot for the stars. So exactly. we want, yes, but if you're not giving me that type of energy, how what is if we're in an intimate setting right let's just say we're at a bar we're at a bar we're you sitting by yourself i'm sitting by myself and whoever sparks up the conversation why is it that you wouldn't be interested if you find me attractive because the he's not there to meet women necessarily he's just here to there to have a good time well, and if he just wait wait and if he just so happened to meet somebody on a platonic level, meaning that it's just a vibe, but it's not something that he's necessarily going out out of his way to seek to get into. That just be maybe the type of mood that he in. I know guys that go to the bar just to kick it, smoke a cigar or two, and then may catch the game on the TV and ain't even checking for the people that's around them. But if they just so happen to run into somebody, then that's just a plus. But that ain't why they went there. But then I know other guys that go to that same bar and they go in there to pick you up. But the best available option may not be the guy that is not checking for you. Okay, so if he wasn't there with the so what does that mean? of meeting somebody, that's okay. Guess what? So what you I'm saying me. is you, you may I'm have to shoot your shot. Number. You may have to get I his attention and show a level of interest to him. In I which and, 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 you, and you can easily do that by sparking up a conversation. I spark up conversations in random places all but the time on the elevator in a line at a, at a place. But after we talking, blah, 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 if you're not like, you know, I don't know. If you're not doing something to, to continue it on. It would, it would, I would assume that, that he's not interested. He's married or he got a girlfriend. Because if we talk in, we had good vibes. This has happened to me in the line at the chase, waiting for the waiting to go to the to, 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 up to the teller. Good conversation in this long ass line. At the end, it's like, oh, here's my so car. He gave me what is car. it? Does it, what does it hurt if, you? If, if you're just like, okay, bye, have a good day. You walk off. You you make no effort to stay in contact with me. Then but what if that guy would have been married? Him. Or you okay. got a girlfriend. No, or maybe he was just really, really in what it is that he was trying to take care of. And what if, what if? But he was guy, making time wait, to talk wait, to me wait, in this line. I'm going to just be real with you. Regular ass everyday girls get chose because they make themselves available and they shoot their shot. 